Last week, an Ohio judge refused to erase a suspension of a 12-year-old boy, black boy, who was punished for staring at his classmate last year. Yes, indeed, America. It is true. The boy was suspended for several days after participating in a staring contest with a white female classmate at St. Gabriel's Consolidated School and allegedly made her feel fearful. Allegedly. Um, the school officials were notified by the girl's parents, and the day after the contest, claiming she felt intimidated by the boy, but the boy who was, fa who was forced to write an apology letter and subsequently suspended for a day maintained that he was unaware that his classmate was feeling uncomfortable. And this is what this 12-year-old says, right? I never knew she was scared because she was laughing, he wrote. I understand I done the wrong thing that will never happen again. I will start thinking before I do so, and I am not, to not get into this situation. Now, here's the thing for me that is just so mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling. Is we live in a world, a day and age, where we continue to go out here and we continue to say black lives matter, right? And we're all created equally. But yet, in a school, St. Gabriel's Consolidated School, so I'm assuming, you know, it's probably a Christian school or a Catholic school or so have you or whatever. This type of hatred, like there's never a point in time where the school approaches the girl and her parents and say, what made you fearful, girl? What did this guy do besides stare at get you that made you so scared? Is it because he was black and because your parents have taught you that you should fear black men? Is that what it is? Because it has to be. Like, what else could it be? Like, you live in a culture where it is okay for you to fear black men. That's the only thing it can be. Nothing else, nothing more. That's just it. And if that's the case, then America, I've got to tell you, we have a broader problem on our hands. It's not like, it's not just a Black Lives Matter thing. It's a wow. Beyond the fact that we have to change policy and we have to change allocation of resources, God damn it, we've got to change hearts and minds. And not even hearts and minds of old people. Like, we're not trying to change Donald Trump's hearts and mind. We have to go out there and change young people, 12-year-olds, whose parents and their community have taught them that it is okay to fear somebody because of the color of their skin. This is not, this is not 1902 or 1853. America, this is 2015. Come on.